So, you want to make a sign, but you don't have any fancy Cricut or Silhouette machine. Don't worry. I've got a super simple option for how to paint letters on wood signs, and it doesn't even involve a paintbrush. First, I started with this DIY farmhouse sign. If you need to know how to make a sign like this, I've got your back. Click the link in the top of the video or in the description below to learn how to make a farmhouse sign. Now let's get painting. First, print out the words that you want to put on your sign. You can make a simple word document with the words you want, or you can grab this free template I made for this sign. I'll put that link in the description for you as well. For this sign, the template had to be taped together, so I cut off the edge of one side of each paper, and then I taped it together. Then I found the center of my sign and I taped the template to the sign. Then I grabbed some graphite paper and put it dark side down in between the paper template and the wood sign. This graphite paper is so simple to use and it really is a secret to painting letters on wood signs without any fancy equipment. Then with a pencil or a pen, trace the design onto your sign. If your transfer paper isn't as big as your template, you'll need to move it as you go. Once you've traced the design, you can lift up your template and the graphite paper to see the outline left on the sign. Now for the fun part. All you gotta do is color in the lines. So grab a Sharpie paint pen or smaller Sharpie if you have really small areas to paint in. I personally really like the paint pen. It does a much better job of painting in the design than even a chiseled edge Sharpie will do. So shake up the paint pen and then push the tip of it into a piece of cardboard or paper. Then start coloring in your design. I really, really recommend using a piece of paper to get the paint onto the tip of the pen because sometimes the paint comes out way too fast and way too much and you don't want to create a mess on your sign. Every once in a while, you'll need to reload the paint on the tip of the pen. So just push the tip down on a scrap paper or the cardboard to get more paint on the tip. And then just work your way around the design until you're done. But be really careful to not put your hand on the wet paint as you're coloring. For the really, really small thin letters, I busted out the chiseled Sharpie and traced those letters on. Some areas need a little bit of a touch up after you're done. So after you're done painting the whole thing, you can go back over the dry paint and make those areas just a little bit darker. If you're interested in snatching up some really fun and free templates for your signs, I'll leave a link in the description to my free templates that you can print out and use for your signs. If you like this little sign craft, subscribe for more upcoming wood sign tutorials. Thanks a bunch!